Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, George. And today we've got another welder to review. This is our Captain MiG 145 Pro. As you can see, it is a multi-process machine. You can do flux core welding or gasless welding. You can do stick or MMA and lift TIG as well. As you can see on this side, you're gonna see a Bluetooth symbol. I'm not sure what that's about, but I've heard you can control parameters using an app. So it is an IGBT based machine or inverter welder has a two-year warranty, has a lot of bells and whistles, has an upgraded display, it has a detachable MIG torch, has a new design for their uh, cooling system, and uh, it's fully digital, and I've heard it is the most stylish MIG welder for under 200 bucks, so we'll check it out and see what it's about. All right, so we got the manual for the MIG 145 Pro. We got some Art Captain stickers. We got a nice durable setup guide. We got our warranty card and our contact information serves at artcaptain.com or www.artcaptain.com. We got two tips and a nozzle, 0.03 and 0.035, the shoulder strap, the combo brush and chipping hammer. We got some flex core wire. We got the detachable torch. MIG torch, we got our stinger, or electrode holder, we got our ground, and we got the R-Captain bag for the MIG 145 Pro. So we're looking at the R-Captain MIG 145 display, as you can see there's three buttons and one off, and we're going to navigate through all the modes quickly and all the other functions. So power on the machine. Mode number one here is gasless welding followed by stick welding and last lift TIG. So back on gasless welding, if you hit the second button, you can go from 0.03 to 0.035 or to 0.04 wire. This last button here lets you select the max amperage, 145 down to 40 amps. And 122 amps will be adequate for 0.17 inch material. So if you're new to welding, this will help out a lot, followed by the setup guide that's included. So back to mode, we can go to MMA or stick welding, 20 amps is your minimum, and 145 is your maximum mode. And set on mode again, lift TIG, 145 amps is your max, and 20 amps is the minimum there. So, all right, so now we're gonna open the side cover here. Our spool goes here, you got our tensioner, and we're going to check this wire feed roller size 0 0.09 0 0.08 this is not unwind on you or it'll make a mess i like to put it with a paper like that and feed it in here now the wire is coming out here on the front put a little tension turn the machine on and it should speed up in a bit. There we go. So I like to cut about that much off, leave that much exposed. Alright, so 80 amps seems a bit better there. There's good penetration on here. I'm not burning through the material. Alright, so now we got one eighth material. That looks pretty good there looks a lot better 
at 120 amps. 145 amps. I think the ones look pretty good. All right, so we got some 332 7018. We're going to set this to about 100 amps. Now I'm going to do 105 amps. Just crank it up a tad more. That is very nice. All right, guys, so it's the end of the video where we talk about the R Cap and MiG 145 Pro. It's one of their newest welders, very compact, stylish. It's a budget-friendly entry machine, and once again, it's flux core. And some of the features on here are a bigger display, brighter display, all digital. There's very few buttons on here, unlike a bigger machine like the MiG 200 here, so it's a lot easier for somebody new to welding to understand and get to welding. Now, some of the, the pluses on here I already mentioned, two-year warranty, synergic mode, multi-process machine, Bluetooth support. That is something I have to contact our captain so I can find out what app they're going to run on this and when it's going to be released. It has a uh, thermal protection on here as well. Smart fan, new air duct system in there. And this is one of the things I didn't like about the machine. It's not a, a deal breaker, but I don't really have a dedicated 20 or 25 amp circuit. So I had to do some adjustments today and um, basically use my extension cord and do some magic over there in the breaker box. Now these other machines over here use adapters like this. You can go uh, 220 or 110. So they have a little bit more uh, advantages on, on that side. But if you just want a small machine to use around the house, and don't plan on welding stuff over 316s. This will work fine on a 20 amp circuit. All right guys, so we're pretty much done with the machine and the review on what I like and dislike about it. Now, if you're interested in the Cut 50, the Arc 160, or the Make 200, go ahead and look through my videos and see if it's something you might be interested in. If it is, just go to artcaptain.com, check them out. They usually offer good discounts, or you can use my discount code Cut Weld and Grind listed below. And of course, if you're watching this video, this is the R Captain MiG 145 Pro. So I'll see you on the next video, guys, and thank you for watching. Bye bye.